Okay, Rich Van Tassel back with you. We just had the completion of the Miami Heat and the Charlotte Hornets. The Heat won big time, 123-91. to Really a case in this game where Charlotte, or excuse me, Miami that is, was just shooting lights out. Charlotte wasn't shooting terribly, but they just couldn't keep pace really with the way Miami was shooting. Miami shot 57.6 from the floor, 50% from three, but only made nine out of 18 from three. So that's nothing that's um, outrageous. Uh, Charlotte did make up a bit of the difference at the free throw line. They shot 37 and made 29. Miami only made 16 out of 21. So there's 13 points there. But again, uh, Miami made 49 two-point field goals to Charlotte only making 28. So when you go to the line and you're not making uh, your field goals at at least above 45%, it's really... Uh, just about balances itself out, basically. That's really what happened in this situation, at least the shooting-wise. And Charlotte could never really get going. I mean, they were hanging around 20 points. It looked like maybe they could make a run, somewhat make things interesting, but couldn't get it together. And then Miami finally just finished them off at the end and won by 32. Now, uh, Nick Batum had the best game for Charlotte, or Nicholas Batum, however you want to call him, 24 points on 7 of 14 shooting. Only two rebounds and two steals. He was minus 33, though. Courtney Lee had the best plus minus uh, of the starters at minus 13. Frank Kaminsky, the third, was actually plus one, but he didn't score. Uh, you had some guys on the bench. Jeremy Lamb was minus one. Uh, the bench wasn't too terrible in their plus minus. The Lovis was minus 12, and that was Jeremy Lin. There were a few times, though, where Dwayne Wade was absolutely taking it to him on the offensive end when Jeremy Lin had to guard him. So... If they're going to have that matchup, or at least the two players in the game, and Miami keeps going to it, it's going to be a problem going forward in this series. As for the Heat, Luol Dang, very impressive. 11 of 13 from the floor, 31 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist, and a steal. He also was 4 for 6 of downtown, so he was very impressive. Hassan Whiteside, big-time game, 21 points, 11 rebounds, 3 blocks. For my vote for offensive or for defensive player of the year, that is. Joe Johnson, efficient in 26 minutes, 11 points. Dwayne Wade chipped in with 16. Nothing really off the bench for Miami. I mean, Amari Stoudemire did have 11 points. Uh, Justice Winslow, Darrell Wright, and Jason Rich or Josh Richardson, that is, all had 8 points. But uh, everyone got in on the act because it was a blowout and no one else on the bench scored. So I expected this game to go 7. Uh, this very well looks like a series, though, and this is what I originally thought. I don't know if I stated it in the vi video. It's going to go, Miami's going to be up 2-0, I would expect, going back to Charlotte. Charlotte is not a very good road team. They were 18-23. and 23. Not great, they, but they certainly did their business at home, winning 30 games and only losing 11 at home. So they're going to be solid when they go back to Charlotte, but I just see it going 2-2, 1-1, and then could Charlotte win a game seven? It's possible, but they have got, you know, Charlotte has got to look at it as we got to try to win one game in Miami, and if you're going to win one game, you would look at it as either five or seven. If they win one of these two, I expect the Miami Heat would be able to go back and split at least. Miami wasn't great on the road, but certainly better than Charlotte, and they're a much more veteran team. Uh, even though, you know, there might be a lot of talk about how young Charlotte is, they do have some veteran players, though. Courtney Lee has played in the finals. Marvin Williams had been to the playoffs many times as a member of the Charlotte, or of the Atlanta Hawks. He's a member of the Charlotte Hornets now. Ty Hansborough, who came off the bench, he'd been there um, with Indiana a few times. Jeremy Lin, of course, with the Knicks. And this team was in the playoffs two years ago, so they're not completely devoid of any playoff experience. So let's see. Um, certainly Miami is not going to shoot that well in the next game. But again, Charlotte didn't really shoot terribly. I mean, you can shoot f better than 43.1, obviously. But usually you're up around 47, you know, 48 is average. And 35% from three isn't bad. So certainly Miami will come back down to earth. But Charlotte still has a lot of work cut out for them because I don't think Charlotte is going to increase their shooting percentage by that much. But... We'll see. Certainly, Kemba Walker, who had 19 points, is going to really be the guy who carries Charlotte. He was minus 32, though. So, um, give Batum credit. Al Jefferson, off the bench, only had 13 points. Again, in a blowout, though, and the other team scoring the way Miami did. Sometimes those numbers get inflated, so we're going to have to see what Charlotte can bring from here. All right, we got Memphis and San Antonio coming up next. 
will give you the recap of that game when it finishes. Thank you very much.